Okay, I was asked about adding um, non-native shoes to a character creator for character. So um, here's the general workflow that I would probably use. Um, there's two ways you can bring in your shoes. You can either go to File, Import, and Import, and then it'll bring it in as, an, um, as a prop, okay? Or you can go to Create Accessory, and it'll bring it in as an accessory. The only difference between a prop and accessory is that props are attached to the figure. Um, to keep, uh, and, and to do this process, we're going to eventually attach it to the figure anyway, but I think the simplest method is to um, just bring it in as a prop first, and then we'll uh, attach it ourselves. Uh, when you bring it as, in as an accessory, it will attach to the hip which is really not what we want anyway. So um, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other, and you can switch back and forth between uh, a prop and accessory just by attaching or, or detaching it from the character. So this doesn't matter so much. Um, so I'm gonna go to imports, and I pick our left shoe. Um, if your shoes are combined into one object, you'll want to go to Blender and separate them into separate objects so that you can manipulate them separately. So these shoes are actually um, uh, 3D printable shoes that I, um, they're just STLs that I converted to an OBJ. So they don't have uh, UVs or anything on them. Um, but, so they're just kind of for demonstration purposes. And they're, the uh, mesh is very, very, very dense. This isn't a texture. This is actually what the, uh, what the mesh would look like. So processes on this might take a little longer than normal because um, normally a shoe wouldn't be quite this um, intricate. You can see this is, my, this is the mesh view. <laughs> it's very dense, okay? So the first thing we want to do after we bring a shoe in, of course, is to... Um, resize it and get it into the right position. So I'm going to do that now. You know, play with this with the scale and everything. Scale it down. Um, notice my origin's kind of off to this weird side. If you want to change the origin, you can go down here and just click the center and that'll help when you're scaling and moving. Everything will be kind of in the, the center of mass, which will, which will help in positioning this thing um, better, I think. By the way, sorry about the 3D printer noises in the background, I know they're kind of annoying. All right, so once your shoes are in position, um, we'll do the other one. Now, if you have a little bit of poke through or something, and the, um, cause you know, chances are, especially with high heel shoes, um, you'll get poke through on the toes and stuff like that. I wouldn't even worry about that cause we'll either conform the shoes afterwards or we'll just hide the, um, the toes or the feet um, when we're all done with this process, which is probably the best way. It's the normal way to do it. Our scale is that, so I'm just gonna copy it. I'm also gonna lock the scale in. And you don't necessarily have to do that, but I'm gonna do it, reset scale. We'll make that now the default 100% scale. Okay. Um, I'm just going to repeat the same process for the other side now. So import, import, do the right shoe. Just like before, I'm going to make the pivot in the center. And I'm going to set the scale. I'm going to lock this and paste my scale from the previous one so that they're the same. And then, then going to, I'm then going to reset the scale to make this the default 100%. Okay. I can now move this guy into position. Okay, so our character's now wearing our shoes. Wonderful. It's actually not wearing them though. They're just separate objects that aren't related to the character. They're just props right now. So if we go to the scene tab, you'll see that they're under prop, okay? Let's um, now attach them to the character to make them accessories. And this is a necessary leap um, for us to do in order to make it clothing. To make it clothing, you have to do the transfer skin weights. You cannot do that unless it's an accessory first. It has to be attached to the figure first before you can transfer skin weights, okay? If we scroll down to the attach section here, we're gonna do pick parent. Now, normally you'd wanna click on the foot, right? But if you click this, it's, 
it thinks I'm picking the shoe. So you can't do that. You're gonna pick a parent and we'll just go above it. We'll pick like the ankle or something or the calf, okay? Um, we can now modify that though. We want it to be the right foot. So if you click on the ellipses here, it'll give you all the individual bones. We type in, start to type in foot. That'll shrink down our things to the feet. We're gonna pick the right foot. We're gonna leave all this stuff as default. We're not gonna align position, rotation, or anything like that. Um, so just leave this stuff to default and click OK. And it's now associated with the right foot. We're gonna do the same with the left. So again, pick parent, click this, click the ellipses, type in foot up here. We've got the left foot, click OK and boom. So now if you go over here, you'll notice that these things have these little sunglasses and they're under the character. So that tells us that they're accessories. So basically they're a hard attachment um, that are attached to the foot. So if we were to animate our character now, like say move the um, foot around, it's attached to the foot, which is great. Uh, our problem is it isn't going to conform with the feet. So if we were to gonna, if we were gonna say um, pick the toes, and we tried to rotate the toes, our toes rotate right out of the shoe. Okay, so we really need to make these shoes officially. So let's take this one step further. To make these official shoes, we have to transfer the skin weight. So I'm gonna. Um, the problem is shoes are pairs, right? So if I say, um, if I click on this guy and I do the transfer skin weights and I tell it it's shoes, and then I try to do this one, it's gonna say the character already has shoes. Do you wanna replace them? Because it's thinking they're, you know, a, a pair. So we need to make these a pair again somehow. So. Um, Select them both, so click, click one, hold control, click the other one, or you can select them both you know, here. Um, and then in the Modify tab, you can say Merge Accessories. Okay, so that just made them a pair. Um, you're gonna click off of that and click back on. So then now if you look in your Scene tab, you'll see that the, the shoes are kind of combined into one thing. And if we wanted, we, we can now rename them. You'll see though that there's still like sub props under them that are the individual things or sub um, meshes, right? So with our shoes uh, selected, we can now transfer the skin weights. So go back over to the modify thing here and do transfer skin weights. It's gonna say it has several objects. Um, do we wanna merge them into one? Yes, we'll say yes. After some chugging away, eventually you'll get this menu here. So these are, of course, shoes. So you pick shoes for the template. Now you could theoretically just click. You know, I have these at the wrong heights, but we're gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> I didn't really pay much attention to that. Oh well, um, we'll just soldier on. Um, so you could theoretically click apply right now, but what we want to do is just ensure that the right shoe is associated with the right part of the body and the left is with the left. So we can do lateral partitioning. So we're going to click lateral partitioning. And that's going to show the mesh of our shoes, which looks really dense. <laughs> looks like solid green for us because these are very dense shoes. Uh, I'm going to box select the right shoe. We want to leave ignore back faces unselected so it does select all the back faces and everything. So now with our right shoe selected, we're going to click on right. And we do the same with the left shoe. Click left. And there we go. And that will ensure that each shoe is associated with the appropriate side of the body. We'll click apply. Okay, so now if we select our character and we curl up the toes, our shoes are behaving as expected. 
So we're not quite done yet. We have three other things to consider. Um, number one is poke through. So say, um, you know, some of the character might be poking through, say, the heel or the sides. Uh, we also have high heels to contend with and also um, uh, floor contacts because this is going to change the height of our character a little bit, right? So let's just uh, take tackle each of those in turn. So to get rid of things like the poke through, um, we can, the easiest way is to just use the hide body mesh tool. So with the shoes selected, not the purse and the shoes, because hiding the body is actually embedded in the clothing because um, each of the clothing items can automatically hide certain body parts. So with the shoes selected, we click the hide body mesh tool. We're going to select the bottom of the feet, scroll down, select hide, scroll back up, get out of the hide body mesh tool, and that's done. Um, the alternate way, or if you needed to, you know, conform your shoes a little bit better to the feet, um, again, with the shoes selected, you can go to modify, go to the conform and do it just like you would conform uh, any other clothing and play around with that. Uh, I'm not going to do that here, though. The next thing to think about is um, floor contacts, I guess. So before we mess with the floor contacts, I'm just going to move. Um, I'm just going to add in a floor prop. We're going to pick a uh, foot contact, and we're going to move her down. So as far as floor contacts are concerned, um, you select the character and you do adjust floor contacts. And then you have um, all these different points here that make up around the, the foot and you'd have to adjust them. Um, personally, I'm just gonna eyeball it, the main, uh, the main height and undo it or um, you know, apply it. Now it looks like our character is making contact with the uh, floor. Um, of course, when we um, when we made these a pair, one was lower than the other, which was not something we want to want wanted to do. So when you do um, originally place these, of course, you want them to be at the exact same height as each other because they're manipulated as a as a pair, right? Um, if you have high heels, um, obviously they're not working because the heels are, you know, coming off like this. So what you do is with the shoes selected, you have high heel right here. And then you play with the slider until the heels are, you know, the shoes are at the right angle and the heels are touching. Click OK. And then that would make them into high heels. So anyway, that is the way you uh, deal with shoes outside of Character Creator. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.